everybody. <laughs> I just literally woke up. The sun is shining bright out there. The sky's cloudy and beautiful. And I was pulled to do a reading. I was actually just gonna eat breakfast, take a shower, and go enjoy my day. But Spirit's like, oh no, boo-boo. Oh, frick, sorry. My camera's messed up. Just give me one second. <laughs> Spirit's like, no, we have some work to do. So I had this crazy dream last night, and I think it has something to do with this love situation. Uh, a lot of fighting, a lot of turmoil, a lot of crazy. Some of you have some karmics that are just plain nuts and um, realizing they're losing out here. And they're just like digging their claws in. If it's a female, if it's a male, they're just, you know, banging their chest like a gorilla, pretty much. So let's get starting. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't speak. I just woke up. But I hear sirens in the background. That's Michael, Archangel Michael, coming in to protect you. Please, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, please surround us for this message is on love and keep us safe from any bad juju or karmic nonsense you didn't see my worth or value yep there's that anger i was feeling telling your secrets i hope you will forgive me opal that's a gem we're gonna talk about this don't worry you talk bad about me to your friends and I find out and it made me angry. Okay, so this is, I like synchronicities. Um, either someone you very care, you care, oh my God. <laughs> they don't want this message getting to you, but too bad. My, my third eye is popping. So basically, this karmic has been running around, spreading your name all over. But this could also be the person you're interested in because they're hurt. We do have, I hope you will forgive me. I think the karmic got caught for their scheming shit and you called them out on it. And they're now in this place of, I want your forgiveness. I want to make this work. And you're like, no, you didn't see my value. You didn't see my worth. You told my name or you, you trash my name all over the place. Like, why, why would I take you back? I can forgive you for myself and to free myself from this, but that doesn't mean you get to stay in my life. And others of you, you are trying to work it out with, with this opal here. You could be trying to work it out with somebody. Maybe you have kids together. Maybe you're married. Whatever the situation is, opal to me is, it's a couple things. Opal can be your third eye going off, your instincts taking over, but it could also be healing and repair at the same time. So maybe we're getting two messages. Please take what resonates for you and your story. Leave the rest for everybody else. If I could tell you, I want you to reach out and tell me how you feel. I'm waiting to tell you how I feel too. So there is somebody in the mix of, I want to see what this is. I want to see if we can fix this. I want to see where your heart space is is if you are trying to work this out i think you found out that your person was unhappy through gossip which would be very painful because you would rather hear it from the person and it made you feel like you weren't important at all to this person and you're healing from that it doesn't necessarily mean that you're done with this person but i think you're taking a break if that makes sense others of you you are in that anger like we are done i'm not doing this anymore but the karmic still wants to know if there's a chance and then there's the, also an energy of you could still be dealing with somebody else that you are done with and into somebody else we're gonna get this the full story i got lots of decks over here okay so we're gonna get more this is just the beginning oh my goodness karmic energy with this phone i'm so sorry we have had many lives together as lovers so you either believe in twin flames or your person does stop trying to break out what's wrong with you gaia okay i want to get out i know she, I don't know if you can tell, tore a hole and got out 
the other night. So she's my escape artist. Look at her. Mom's not looking. I'm gonna try to get out. Oh shit, she saw me. <laughs> so if you see me keep yelling at my cat or hear me, that's because she keeps trying to make the screen go away even more. Poor baby. I wish I could let her out, but I don't trust people. They do bad things to cats. Well, not in this area, but <clears throat> Salve <laughs> in my area is known for cat killing. I don't like it. Yeah. She just looked at me like, what? <laughs> Sorry. Let's see what else. What else do we need to know, spirit? chill on these after this you're all talking no action if you want it so bad try doing something to obtain it instead of just talking about it okay so i feel like this is a love situation where you're fighting back and forth the majority of you are trying to make this heal and work you are in a long term married you have kids or you just don't you're not ready to give up but there's anger here Somebody in the relationship, it could be you or the other person, is like you're saying all of this stuff. You say you want this stuff. You say you want change. You say you love me, but I don't see it. I don't see the action you're taking. I don't see the changes you're making. And so, no, I'm not ready to talk. I'm not ready to move forward because you're just talking and you're not doing what you're saying. There's a lot of frustrated energy. I'm tired of waiting for you I feel like moving on from this yeah somebody here could be you could be a person is tired of waiting for you to take this action to figure out to see how much they mean to you and be more important than other things in your life I feel like either somebody w was put on the back burner here stop it Gaia go sorry <laughs> somebody feels like they were put on the back burner they feel like they weren't taken seriously, that they're not, they want to be treated like a king or a queen, point blank, period. This, could, again, could be you, your other person, and they feel, they feel like you're treating, or they feel like they're being treated like a jester, like a court jester, like it's a joke. Like you could just come in and say what you got to say and give a few gifts and make a few laughs and that everything's okay. It's like you're just coming in and fluffing it over and saying all the right words, but then you're right back to doing the same thing again. Tears on my pillow. It did come out in reverse. One of you is really heartbroken because this person is pulling away. They're done. You feel it. You know it. You know that or they know that they treated you wrong. And the other person is crying. One person's like, no, I'm not giving you no more tears. I'm done with this shit. I deserve better. And the other person is crying all over the place. Like, fuck. I fucked up. Oh, dear. I'm pretending to love them because I don't want you to know you were right. That I chose wrong. I can't face it yet. Okay, so that's a lot of the situation here. Um, ooh, Sugarland Stay is playing in my head. So you could be involved in somebody who is in a... Uh, relationship married you could be the side piece or you have a side piece or something is going on here Gaia I gotta pause one second all right she's mad we're fighting <laughs> so her job's gonna be <laughs> I'm sorry guy you can't go outside who's gonna feed you look at her face Gaia no oh, she's mad she just gave me the snake eye guys Maybe that's a clue to some, that someone, or you're giving the stank eye to someone. Someone's getting the stank eye because they're mad. This kitty wants out. I won't let her out. That could be relevant to your situation. You are out of a situation for something else. The other person isn't letting go of you. And you're like, no, I'm freaking over it. Won't you just get the freaking point? You didn't see my worth. You told all my business. I cried and cried and cried over you. Like, I'm done. I have this person I want to go talk to. I feel like this person is my twin flame and you are just a soulmate kind of thing for some of you. Sorry. 
allergies <laughs> to blue widows. I want to take you out on a date and talk to you. I want to see, see if we are compatible. I'm very into you and I want to see if this connection is real and not just in my head. So yeah. All right, let's regroup a little bit because we have a couple groups here. Some of you are very much into someone. Um, you could have treated like treated them like crap. Something could have happened and it never got off the ground or it blocked this from getting off the ground. There's a repair that wants to be made here on both sides. You both want to know how each other feels. At the same time, there's a karmic energy. So I'm not really sure if all of you are trying to close out something. Hi, Gaia. Hi, precious angel bear. You coming to bless this reading? She is Gaia, and it's Mother's Day weekend. Hi, baby. She's mad at me. <laughs> if I could tell you, I don't care what anyone says. I want a life with you, and you're all I ever need. So I think some of you are leaving someone for someone else, and they're not letting go. Or there's people in the mix that are just trying to block this connection from coming together. Rumor has it, yes. There's rumors all over the place. And I feel like it's stopping you from a relationship you really want because it's being started by a karmic. And a few minutes ago, I saw 1122 on the clock. So that's an angel message if you want to look that one up. There might be some more meanings that Spirit's trying to tell you. Let's see where to go next. Let's get some numerology. What's going on right now in this connection? 11.44 on the clock I just saw. The fool's journey. No, new cycle. Yeah, some of you are telling a past person no, or you're telling people no, I don't care. I want this person. Or um, it could be no, not right now, but you do want a new cycle. You want a new beginning with love, but there is a, a bunch of shit in the mix here. I'm not sure if it's karmic energy as in an ex-lover or these are friends. Um, that are secret haters. It could be family members. People got a lot of shit to say here. A love offer, proposal, yeah. Uh, Synchronicity is here. You want something off the ground. You want to go towards someone. You want to give your heart to this whole new thing. Whether it's you're leaving a situation to have this or something was in the mix here and you need to repair whatever the situation is, you want to put work in it. You want to offer this person your heart. Career, money focused. Okay, so you could have put this person on the back burner because you were focused on your career. Or you have a lot of work engagements right now that are keeping you from this love proposal. Like you want a new cycle, but you can't because you have work ob obligations. Maybe you travel. Or you couldn't get this thing off the ground or it fell apart because you were traveling or just focusing on your career. Career was more important to you at one time. Yeah, so you are single or your person is single. Um, if you want to give someone a love offer and you're not single, um, this is what you're trying to do. No, I can't until I'm single or, oh, fuck, this person is single. I better come in and give them a love offer because I don't want to see them with somebody else. Financial independence. Someone's just really focused on having their own bag and having their own life. I kind of feel like this is the person you're interested in. They are single. They are just focusing on career. They don't really have much going on for love. Um, they could be looking for love. It could be making you uncomfortable. But I think this person has just been working on themselves. And I feel like you are too. This could be mirroring energy between you both. You could just be both in your own lanes, doing your own thing. Rumors got in the way of this. So you just focused on your careers or you couldn't come, something couldn't come together because of work. Expressing or speaking truth. So yeah, I think you really do want to tell this person how you feel. They might not know how you feel. Uh, this could be a crush. Um, some of you do need to express that truth to the karmic. Like, look, no, we are done. I'm going towards somebody else. I want to offer them my heart. I, I'm focused on career and, you know, this new chapter. 
I just want to be single. I need to let you go. Some of you need to honestly speak that and end that karmic situation. Others of you are rushing in because this person is single. They're doing well. You're doing well. It just feels like now is the time or it's approaching the time to be speaking the truth to your your crush or this crush coming in to speak truth to you. It could be someone you work with. You can, you can count on them and trust them. Yeah, so this is why you want to go towards this new thing. This person betrayed your trust. You could already be done with this person and they're just bringing it bringing it up to show you your evolution of now I'm ready. I've waited for someone that I can trust. I see that I can have a good career. This person will understand my, that career is important to me. They will understand my traveling. I can trust them while I'm gone energy. This person won't cheat on me. This person won't trash my name. You want to tell this person that. Maybe you never trusted anyone romantically in that way. Anything else from this deck? Uh-oh, yeah. That court jester setting you up. Bad luck, loss, griefing, breakup, divorce, separation. Yeah, the person that you're breaking up from is starting a cloud of rumors. I feel like to make your person that you are interested in feel like this relationship is solid and steady and moving forward. To the person that you want that is single, you look happy and content and fulfilled in your relationship. They gave you up. You didn't see my worth. You stayed with the karmic. They're focusing on career. Others of you, you are in the midst of getting rid of this and love might be coming into your life if you don't have anyone yet. Let's keep going and get something different. Let's see where to go from here. Let's try my deck. I made this just for myself so I could channel. Let's see your side of things. What's going on with the viewer, Spirit? What's going on with the viewer? Okay, so you, yeah, you're focused on career. You could be getting a lot of recognition. You could be in the public eye here. And yeah, you're on the road. You're moving. I heard on tour. <laughs> good for you. That's awesome. Hopefully it's going well for you and you have good weather days <laughs> if you're playing outside. Um, Tis the season for festivals. Maybe you're playing a festival, but you have this it quality. Um, I think you're either putting yourself out there. Or you're just like, you have so many fucking obligations for work right now. You're in the mix of ending everything. So you're just like focusing on work until this is ended. But at the same time, in love with something here. Ah, fell right in my lap. Creative endeavor project. Maybe you see somebody as a star. Maybe you are more, I don't know. Maybe you could be a manager or a scout of some kind. But you see this star quality in this person that you also have feelings for. But some of you might just be scouting someone. It might not be love at all. Be like, fuck this love situation. I found this person. I think that we can make a bunch of money together. But I feel like majority of you also love this person yeah twin flame this person is your Ooh. okay so you came into contact with your twin flame and it changed your whole life so you're in the process of getting rid of what no longer serves you and getting out of work obligations let's see where your person is at <laughs> uh oh they're stressed out. I think they're partying. I don't feel like this is a bad, like, addiction. I think they're just having fun. You might have a daughter. There's a spirit baby. Yeah, you're definitely going to have a daughter with this person. Your daughter's like, hi, mom. Hi, dad. Guess what? You're going to make me. They're, like, butting in your whole shit. <laughs> Could be why this person, you're being so pulled. You got a spirit baby trying to tell you you guys have a whole life together including um <coughs> making me how adorable she is she might even look like that you never know um but this person is very childlike they're just having fun i feel like they're embracing the warmer energy they're having fun by themselves oh they're standing in their power though 
They're very powerful. They have strong, like, God, goddess energy. Take no shit energy. They work hard and they play hard. And they're very silly and fun. I like this person. It's the vibes. Interest, approval, results, assessment. Yeah, they're, they don't feel like you notice them. They Maybe they're trying to make it in their career. They're really strong in their gifts, but they're not really getting any traction. But you see this person as a star. This person is doubting their talents, but still trying to go forward with a brave face. They're like, why isn't it taking off? Why isn't this happening for me? Yeah, they're confused. I think they're onto this connection too, but they don't know what's going on. They assume you're happy. All this rumor, all this stuff coming out about you is making their head spin. Yeah, they're just working on their own wish fulfillment and enjoying their life. I think they've, no offense, I think they've put you away for a while, just needing a break from you. Let's see, near future, what's going to happen with this? Why did we need to do this reading this morning? Oh no, rain clouds are moving in. Well, I still have to make breakfast and take a shower. Hopefully by then the sun's out. Yeah, this person is a healer. They're healing their life, they're healing their soul, but ultimately I feel like they're a shaman or somebody very spiritual. And you're both healing in your lives as well. This person came into your life to help you heal. Yeah, summer's going to be big for you. I think you two are going to come into union this summer. Your wish is granted. You've been trying to manifest this person, an opportunity for this person. Maybe you want to take this person on the road and help them see their potential. Some of you, I feel like this energy of taking them under your, your wing and helping them launch. You just see this person as great star quality. I think you're very established in whatever you do. It doesn't have to be like music or acting or anything like that. It could be like, this person is an amazing, amazing designer and you need them in your advertising firm. It could be anything like that. You just see this person's worth. Affirmations, just keep saying that you deserve this, that you deserve to be happy, that it's going to come together as you're getting out of this karmic energy. You got the power, exactly. You can manifest this into reality. This person's trying to manifest their success and growth. Um, yeah, current in spring. They're transforming. You're both transforming. Everything's going to be okay. Just get out of this karmic shit. Trust that you two will come together and you're going to have this amazing love life. You're going to have two kids, a boy and a girl, specifically is what I heard. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to start with a business venture. Ew, my nails is dirty. Sorry. <laughs> I just woke up. I don't know why my nails is dirty. Um, it might require some dietary changes on someone. Like, I just feel like someone's going to have to gain or lose weight for something here. This person that you see as a star quality is going to fit with your already established whatever. It's like your two peas in a pod. Your desire was in, is within reach. It's spring right now. It's about to be summer. Hang on. You are going to marry this person. Let go of the marriage you're already in or the relationship that no longer serves you so that this can come in. That's your advice from Spirit. I hope it was helpful. And I will see you all again soon. If you do catch this, I might. I have a lot of running around to do. I'm just having fun today and playing and doing stuff for self-love. But I know that tomorrow is Mother's Day. And I was thinking of jumping on very late. Maybe going live and doing some departed loved ones for children that have parents here mothers specifically or mothers that are gone i'll try to put up a little notice in my community board it's probably going to be between like 10 and 11 I, I like to get as close to midnight as i can for some of these so if you are interested in a live and and tuning your energy in look at my community board put notifications up between 10 and 11 I'm not sure if I'll do a live, I'll tell you in the comments. Like, I'm not going to do a live, but I am recording. Most likely I will do a live. I haven't done one in a while. But I don't know what I'm getting into today. So, if I don't do it um, 
tonight. I might do it tomorrow morning for a live. Either way, I will tell you between um, 10 and 11.30. Just pay attention to my community board, and I'll tell you what's up. I'm playing it by year today, but I do want to do something specific because I lost my babies. So I know moms here um, are having a hard time if they lost babies and vice versa. If you lost your mom, you're having a hard time. So I want to get those messages to ya. I just am very protective of my space and I worry about going live with all of this karmic energy, especially when I'm channeling that late at night, the part of loved ones, but I could do my thing. I could prep and make sure we're all good. So stay tuned for that and have a great weekend. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.